guys, how are we doing? Um, so somebody's asking me in the comments if I could sort of show what how I start my process, like my prep, that kind of thing. So um, I'm going to have a go. Um, now, notoriously, I'm a sort of, uh, when it comes down to sketching and that sort of stuff, uh, I'm very uh, perfectionistic and I change my mind a lot of the time. So there's the eraser, that's ready to go. And, uh, and let's get stuck into it. So first of all, what I try and do with a character <clears throat> is I try and work out, first of all, what sort of, sort of sort of body position or head in conjunction with body position is going to have. So let's try something. So um, so I what I always do um, is I always sort of, I sort of lay uh, rough guidelines for myself. Um, so I'm looking at the, the, the space like that and I'm thinking, well, I want to be able to do background on it. So if I tuck the character sort of down this area here, work in this area, I'll be able to do, ca yeah, there'll, there'll be room for background up there. So let's just bung something there. Right, okay, so there's a circle there. See that? Just gives me a rough idea. Rough idea of where he's gonna go. Uh, now I could just do him straight on. I could just do him straight on like that. Or, I mean, three quarters, so. So sort of, you know, that kind of, that that sort of shape like that, or um, or I could do him a bit more um, like, like so, oh, you see, I'm liking that already. I'm liking that. That's not, okay, so, right. So now I'm looking at this, right, I'm thinking, if his eyes are there, pretty much, he's looking that way, but his body's pointing that way. That's quite nice. The only problem is, can you see this? I'm at the edge there. So where's his right hand going to go? Now I don't have to put a right hand on there, or I could, or I could even do sort of, you know, jiggle it so his arm comes out there and comes back over there, and his hands sort of there or whatever. That. The composition of that is not delicious, frankly. Um, that is not very nice. Not to me, it's not. Aesthetically, I can do better than that. Um, hmm. What would I do with that? Because I make the rules, right? Because I'm the artist. I mean, there's certain things you can, you can, well, there's certain things you have to avoid if you can, but, um, but you can get away with a lot of stuff. Uh, so what would I do if I give him a nice little, if I give him a fist there, how does that work, how's that, now, yeah it's okay, okay, now what I'm also thinking is do I want to do it flat like that, okay so I've got, now that I'm looking at something, because I'm one of those guys who I need something to look at before I can see anything. So now I've got some ideas. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna drop something in down there. I'm gonna drop a little bar down there and bar there. Because what I'm doing, I'm just, I'm now cordoning off the space. I know you can only don't see right there. I, I know, I know where the frame is. So you can see to, a, all this here, you can't see what I'm doing below there, which is a bit of a pain, but never mind. Um, you won't need it. So if I work to that working area there, pretty much, this is obviously this is this is all about prep, by the way. <laughs> you know, obviously this is not finished in any kind of way. Um, uh, would I do another hand there? I might not actually. Now I'm looking at that. I might not. I might just sort of. Yeah, okay. So I'm thinking maybe silhouettes in the background now. What I can do, I can put some depth, because I've got this character down here, he's very big in the foreground, obviously. So what I could do is put guys here in the background and I could put like, I could even do like a full length person in the background there maybe. Um, or actually, if I put him just there, that's probably not quite full length. But, oh, 
know, if I do that cut, there's somebody coming in there. That's not the right angle for that. <clears throat> okay, that's not the right angle. That would, can you see how that was not the right angle? Sort of looking down on them a bit much, much there. Um, what I'm going to do, so the idea I'm getting again is that I'm going to think, I'm thinking just maybe have this a bit misty. Normally it's good. If you keep the eyes level, it just keeps the, keeps everything a bit simpler. I can't explain why. Um, so, and if I put a character in there, so there's another one up there. There's somebody there. Okay, I've got a layout now. It's a bit flat, but I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that. That's fine. That's fine. Um, probably, I don't know what the background would be. Yeah, I've got no idea what that would be. Um, probably, well, I'll tell you what, if I'm doing, if I'm doing fog, what I want to do is I want to, I want to drop, um, there'll be, f so if we're close up on buildings, they'll be fairly flat to begin with. That kind of thing. And I won't do the bottoms of them. And... I want something there, yeah, maybe. That, that. I don't always work this rough, by the way, but sometimes it just helps. It particularly, particularly helps if you're a bit stale, if you're feeling like you're missing something. That's not, I don't like that. Get rid of that. Yeah, if you feel it's, um, People would change it up a little bit, that you've been doing the same thing over and over again, or you've not been varying it enough. This can be quite good for this. So, I don't know what, um, I don't know what I'm going to do in the background there. Because the thing is, he, he calls the shots on the scale, because that's the distance we've got. Do you see what I mean? So anything I put in there, behind there, has got to be scaled to this guy. So I could do I can do something further in the distance, or I could do something if I do something you know, like a great big shop just there. Then he, he's he's suddenly tiny. Um, so what am I going to do? The best thing I could do probably is just drop a. I could drop. Um, I'll put a sort of if I put a building in the sides there. I can do the classic sort of, um, cause I love fire escapes. Absolutely love them. Who doesn't, right? Who doesn't love the classic fire escape? Kind of one. Oh, uh, so if you've got a fire escape going in there, all that there, Maybe that would do it. Fire escape in there. Then we've got, I can either do just a classic cityscape back there somewhere. Up there. Or something like that. So I've got a, I've got composition now. I've got a rough composition. Character there, big main character. Nice little secondary character there. Character in the background. Maybe we should do like a vehicle or something actually. Mm, there's no room for it really, is there? There's no room. If I'm going to do a cityscape like this, I really need to do a bit more detail as well because. Um, because I've, I've basically got a sort of foreground and I've got a background, but I've got no real mid-ground there. So uh, I should probably stick something else in there. Just like that. 
like a store on the corner or something, you know, that kind of thing. Have something going on like that. Um, again, I won't do, uh, I'll sort of have, um, whatever, whatever it is, like doors or windows or whatever, it'll be vanishing a little bit because I want to do, for those of you who saw that video that I did before, where I gave that little tip about fog, if you want to denote something foggy, then you don't draw the bottom of it, don't draw the bottom lines, and uh, yeah, that's okay, that's all right, I'm just trying to work out the perspective now, actually. So my vanishing point, oh, sorry, my, my horizon is kind of like there, really. Where's my lead gone? There it is. Yeah, that's sort of my horizon, pretty much just there. But my vanishing points are off, obviously further off there and further off there. So at this point, I would say, right, I'll busk the rest. And uh, how long have I got? I've only got a few more minutes on this. So what I would do, right, I'd start to work on this face. So let's have a look at this face, see what we can do with this fella. Okay, so. There we go, get his eyes in. I always want to get eyes in first. Always, always get eyes in first for me. Big heavy brow on him, which is what I normally like. There we go. There we go, get his cheekbones in there. Drop his, uh, drop his nose in. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Now. If you want to see, see somebody with a very neat sketch style, <laughs> watch Chio's channel. <laughs> Mine ain't neat, as you can see. Um, mine's quite messy. I'm a, I'm a sort of, I'm a scribbler, you know. It's not great discipline, to be perfectly honest with you, because you can make a mess. The thing I was always told about scribbling is that, you know, the problem with scribbling is you, you produce too many lines. I know it's bad form, but I've always done it. It's just habit. And frankly, you know, I'm getting on okay. So, I'm sorry. Um, what should we do with his hat? I'm just going to give him a standard. Oh, no. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it like a proper... What should I do? What should I do? Um, what should I do? Uh, okay. I know what I'm going to do. I want to pull it right down like that. So for that, I'm going to have to pull it right up. Let's see, Let's see how that works. Might not work. I mean, it's very low on his brow there. It's very low. Does that work? I'm doing this very quick because oh, I'm nearly out of time. I'll do a big time lapse on this so you can see me actually sort of, you know, complete it and do all that. I'll probably have to play around with it a little bit as well. There you go. Okay. Actually, I'd have him probably coming out of frame as well. So he's actually coming out of frame. So he sits outside the frame and the frame sits back there. And you can do that with all kinds of varying degrees. You could push the frame right back of the edges of the frame, like right up here. I've done that before. So he's sitting a long way out of frame. But um, that for me, there we go. So I'm out of time really. But, um, but because somebody asked me, I just thought it might be useful to do that, to show you a bit of, uh, a bit of that really like early, like real super early process, you know, like sketching, how you, how you start something off, how you really kick something off, particularly if you're feeling a bit dry, you know, if you can't really get it together, if you're a bit blocked or whatever, this is a good way of doing it. 
Anyway, there you go, guys. Hope that was helpful.